part of something bigger than ourselves. Secondly, we can offer a simple word of thanks. We can say thank you to the soldiers for their service and sacrifice. And we can say thank you to the surviving families who have shown us what true perseverance looks like. Gander survivors, thank you for your service, your diligence, and your resilience. Your extraordinary sacrifice stands as an example that all of us can emulate. And finally, we can promise that we will never forget. We will always continue to honor the fall on a task force 3502nd throughout history. As I close, I want to share what the Gander Memorial has meant to me. As a young second lieutenant, I learned about the Gander crash and a seed of a lesson was planted in my mind. Today, after multiple combat deployments throughout my 20 year career, I've affirmed this lesson that the Army has taught me, and that is that life is short. The Bible says that life is like a wisp of smoke that appears for a moment and then is gone. None of us know when our time will come. So what do we do? How do we live? We live every day to the fullest. We give our absolute best every single day. Every day that we can wake up, put our feet on the floor, and live to honor God, country, family, and army should be counted as a blessing.